Hey, what's up guys? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your third Java programming tutorial. So today we're going to be learning a basic fundamental of Java programming. Uh, this is called variables. So variables are basically uh, places in memory that hold data. So this data could be in the form of a number, a decimal number, uh, words, whatever you want. So in Java we have to specify what type of data we're going to be holding in this variable. So in order to do this, uh, say that we, we wanted to hold a whole number that was positive or negative. So you would uh, use the keyword int, which stands for integer, and then name it something like the number, and set it equal to like, you could either set it positive or negative, so I'm going to set it to negative 67, and then just Let's print something out. Print line. Um, so let's print out the number. And inside the statement, we could also do some math in here too. So we could like add stuff. So we could add like three. So we would get 60, negative 64. So when we run this, we should get negative 64. So we just basically added the number, which is negative 67. We added three, which would give you negative 64. Um, you could also multiply shift F6 and you get that you could divide by using the forward slash forward slash and uh, shift F6 um, you could also use you guys probably don't know this one this is called the modulus operator if you hold shift and hit 5 it's basically the percentage symbol um, so basically what's gonna happen is let's use a better number um, let's see 13 and if we take 13 and then divide it by 3, we're going to get 3, 6, 9, 12. So it's going to go into it four times evenly. And then we're going to have one remainder left over. So basically this means it's like divide this number by this number. And then whatever the remainder it is, whatever the remainder is, print it out. So we should get 1. There we go. 1. So that's, a, that's kind of a tricky concept. If you guys don't get it, just practice it and you'll get the hang of it. Um, so the next thing I wanna show you guys how to do is how to store a decimal number. So let's use the double keyword. So this basically means I wanna store a decimal. Um, so let's name it the number again and set it equal to 67.897. And if we run this, we get 67.897. Uh, another data type that we're going to be using a lot is the string data string data type. Uh, so let's, it has to be a capital S. I can't really explain that to you guys right now because you guys don't have the background of object oriented programming. But trust me, I'll I'll teach it later. Just bear with me though. So name it uh, name and set it equal to. You need the quotation marks because you're putting a string of text in, and whenever you're putting in text, it needs to be surrounded by quotation marks. So let's say. Um, I love macaroni and cheese with ketchup. I actually do. I love macaroni and cheese. All right, so um, we put name in here, and if we run it, it says I love macaroni and cheese with ketchup. Um, so another data type that we're going to be learning is the char data type. Char is similar to string, but char can only hold one single um, character, and char stands for character. Uh, so let's name it letter is equal to, and you have to use single quotes for chars because that's just the way you have to do it. Um, so yeah, and we could store B, and if we print out letter, and we run it, we get B. See if we had double quotes. That's a big no-no. It it it, get, it gets mad at you. See you, you see how it has a red underline. Uh, that's basically the compi the co compiler whining at you. It's like no, I don't I don't want to run this thing. It's got an error in it, and it, it'll throw this thing at you. And yeah, it just gets mad. So uh, don't do it. Uh, you gotta make sure you have single quotes. Um. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. It's kind of complicated the first time you do it, but once you get the hang of it, it you, you catch on to it pretty quick. So, um, 
Yeah, I'll see you guys next tutorial. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any questions again, just leave them down in the comments and I'll or message me. I'll be happy to answer them. So see you guys.